Snipers, you have to see what's happening to the Bitcoin price this Friday as our Saturday candle opens in less than 24 hours with a full moon coming into effect today. Bitcoin already testing its 100 day moving average. There is a scenario, Snipers, that Bitcoin can come to 50,000 US dollars this weekend to test its 200 day moving average based on what the S&P 500 did to close the week. Notice how we tested this 200 day moving average after breaking that long standing downtrend that has held Bitcoin down for quite some time as it has correlations to the S&P 500, of course. But with the S&P 500 closing, testing this 200 day moving average, why isn't this scenario on the table now for Bitcoin to also come and test its 200 day moving average? What's also very interesting is if we pull up our snipers chart, Bitcoin has yet to cross above its monthly open at 43,000. Whereas the S&P 500 crossed above its monthly open yesterday. And what's more interesting about that is Bitcoin has been a stronger asset than S&P 500 through January and February. Are we just seeing a delayed reaction where the S&P 500 only over the last 48 hours got above its monthly open and tested its 200 moving average and Bitcoin has yet to do that? Is the move already priced in? Is there a guarantee at this point that we break above this long standing resistance everyone's watching calling it a symmetrical triangle and ascending triangle but the point is the target is 49700 if we can see decisive candles already above 41950 we're seeing hourly candles you can see testing levels above this extremely important sniper's resistance at 41950 the likelihood that we're going to see continuation of this into the weekend i think is certainly on the table snipers with S&P 500 being a weaker asset, but already at the 200 day moving average and the cryptocurrency market being the most manipulated on the weekend, it looks like we're ready to see Bitcoin make this break. And what's also interesting is if we take the schematics of the market structure to look at targets, it also says that getting towards 49,700 where we have the 200 day moving average would also put us back above the 20 and 50 week moving average. So what's very interesting about that is just this triangle pattern breaking out right now really at that forty four thousand eight hundred dollar level could justify even price action all the way up to sixty thousand us dollars this would probably be the better case scenario to occur but what i'm pretty sure of is if we see price action above forty one thousand nine hundred fifty here forty two thousand at some point we're going to see some very high volatility and maybe price action moving quickly to these levels and our first target would be 49,700 where we'd expect Bitcoin to have a pit stop, a cup of coffee, and then maybe continuation of the upside based on how other revolving parts are at that time. Or we could even see Bitcoin stronger than S&P 500 crossing much and above the 200 day moving average to even test the midpoint of this channel, maybe even fulfill the complete market structure breakout to 60,000. The point is there is a move to the upside imminent here for Bitcoin or as though it looks, unless we see the trick trap and frustrate crew come in, it just doesn't seem like it's on the table for this weekend. With S&P 500 closing strong, Japan also closing as if it's already bottomed out, at least for the medium term. China, very strong reversal candles over the last few days. Euro 100, certainly closing strong already at the 200 day moving average. Gold calming down, the DXY calming down. These are all puzzle pieces that would only lead me to believe that Bitcoin has a strong chance to break to the upside. Even if we look at Coinbase stock, you can see it's starting to come towards the resistance of this extremely important area. But more importantly, if we look at just this downtrend that we've been in since, let's say, the start of this year, Coinbase already starting to move sideways, breaking above this level. It just looks like things are extremely bullish for Bitcoin. It would be hard to put a bear snare on the table at this point. The S&P 500, if we look at the weekly chart against the money supply, came to test its 200 week moving average. And this is a very strong bullish candle to close the week. So let's see what happens, snipers. But just being the umpire, what I'll say is all the puzzle pieces are in the bullish end. We're seeing ascending buy volume, institutional type of volume here. Higher lows forming. There's a hidden bullish divergence on the weekly RSI. I mean, <laughs> what more could we ask for? I mean, that's really what I'd say here. And here's what I also expect. If we see this move to the upside for Bitcoin, what we really want to see is Bitcoin dominance cool off. If it comes down, allowing the theory to Bitcoin chart to move up, 
that's gonna lead other altcoins to see strength and hopefully we can see this chart that factors in altcoins outside of Ethereum reconquer this extremely important level that it broke recently this right here would be the best case scenario when we see that move for bitcoin whether it's to the upside or downside most likely to the upside based on the revolving parts if we see that move and we see these revolving parts move to the direction i've just mentioned that could also assume altcoin season continues and that we've pot possibly bottomed out for altcoins as well so that's what we're watching here um ethereum's 200 day moving average also showing confluence of the major level at 3454 i think if bitcoin makes the move to the upside we could expect ethereum to get to 3500 that's where we'd possibly find some resistance even up to the four thousand dollar level if bitcoin can get towards that 50 to sixty thousand dollar level versus finding resistance at forty nine thousand seven hundred. so very positive way to end the week and I had to get this video update out to you guys with this new daily candle literally opening up here in less than 20 minutes. Smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm if you support these quick updates. My dog wants to go on a walk. He's right here sitting next to me now. And so I'm going to go do that and I'll see you guys this weekend. If something changes, we'll post another video. But at this point, I don't see a downside scenario on the table. 38,000 is our major support in this range with a resistance of 41,950, a support of 38,000. We break above 41,950. The likelihood we get above 44,800 is certainly high with a fifth test of this level the s p 500 already going towards that 200 day moving average it's almost a no-brainer bitcoin can target that 200 day moving average as well right around that big even at 50,000. so thank you for tuning in to the sniper channel today hope you enjoyed this content smash the like button if you did and i'll see you next time snipers out